Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and start learning how to create a mandala. I'm just gonna go ahead and run it through real quick. So whenever you're creating a new page, make sure you go to this little plus sign and press plus. And you're gonna go ahead and create a blank page, like so. Okay, so the first step is going to be, you're gonna go ahead and go to this star right here. And you're gonna go ahead and click on choose shape and go to circle. So this allows you to create a circle however big you want it. Next step, you're gonna go ahead and take the select and you're gonna go ahead and center your circle the best you can. You want it to be centered, okay? Next step after that, you want, you know how you have that fill inside, that's the gradient gray. You wanna make it to zero where it means it's nothing. So we're gonna go ahead and put zero. And the outline is the line. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that and you can change the width of your line. You can change the color, but remember you wanna keep it a circle. So just kind of keep that in mind. Okay, so we're done editing the circle. The next step is you're gonna to go to where the paintbrush or the quill is at. And you're gonna go ahead and choose your brush, which is going to be mirror brush. So as you can see, our circle is not that centered. So we're gonna go ahead and bring it up just a little bit so that we can get it as centered as possible by using your select button. And here we have it a little bit more centered. Okay, so when you're using your mirror brush, you can start from the middle or you can start from everywhere else. So we're selecting it. We're gonna go, oh, don't forget to choose your color. We're gonna use black and you can kind of see it ready to work. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create our design. And as you can see, you can do it however you like and it can be as interesting as you want it to be and you can add things outside if you'd like. So it allows you to just kind of create those really nice designs. Okay, so we have our mandala created. The next step is going to be is color. So color, you're gonna go to mirror brush, this button right here, click that, you're gonna go here, then you're gonna go to paintbrush. So the objective is so that you have a color wheel on top of that, so what I suggest is you're gonna go ahead and think about the primary colors and secondary colors. So let's go ahead and go with red, which is one of our primary colors. Remember, you can change the size of your brush. You can make it thicker or softer if you want it to look very nice and soft. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make it nice and soft right here. So here, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the spaces. You can be as, you know, here it's up to you how you want to go about it. I like to go in order, so after red, we're going to go ahead and do orange. After orange, it's yellow. Okay. And after yellow, it is green. So this allows you to be just a little bit sloppy. It's a little bit more forgiving. Next after that one, it's blue. Got a text message. Next after that, uh, we got our primary colors and we're just missing violet, okay. I guess I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more red. Okay. So you can try and make the spaces as even as possible. This is just an example so you can kind of play around with the program. It, it allows you to kind of have that really nice Photoshop vibe. Um, and there's lots of different programs that you can use, but if you are having issues with, let's say, your phone or whatever, this is a good alternative and it's free. Okay, so we put our six colors in there. 
our primaries and secondaries. Next step is you're going to go to layers, which is right here. Click on that and you see all of this. This is each stroke of paint that you added on here, which allows you to actually kind of move it around. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to focus on the mirror brush section. So you're going to go ahead and take the circle and you're going to go ahead and pull it up. So each mirror brush, you're going to go ahead and put it on top. So this allows it to be on top of the color consistently. So here, we're just gonna go ahead and just kinda keep pushing things up until we have our full design on top of all the color, like so. Of course, if you select on particular things, you can actually change the colors of them. So here we have white and it's outline white. You don't want that. You want it to be black. So just kind of keep that in mind. Here we have another piece that's just white. Okay, so here we have our full mandala. And it is pretty much done. When you are done, go ahead and export it. You're going to export it as JPEG if you'd like. So it doesn't let you really pick the name for it. So it's going to give you like a strange name. So just kind of keep that in mind. It can open automatically sometimes. It's up to you, but um, just kind of keep an eye out for it if you can. So next is you're going to go ahead and find it. So when you're finding it, just kind of look for that one new file that's kind of hanging out. Um, let me see, one more time. You're gonna go ahead and save. And you can save it as JPEG. You can pick pretty much the size of it, what kind of quality you want for it. You download and just remember 9494 or whatever number you have go here on your search bar and type in 9494 and it'll pop up and so as soon as it pops up you're going to go ahead and open file location which usually it allows you to do that and it'll show up under this pc so here you can see where sometimes it shows up under quick access, but you can check under this PC and you can look at whatever, wherever you put most of your files in. Here I put mine here. So you can go ahead and export that and just kind of place it on your desktop ready for you to just kind of upload it. And then that's pretty much it. After that, uh, you guys go into your Teams and you pretty much just upload it under assignments where it normally says uh, my work. You could where that little plus sign is that looks a lot like this on here and just kind of upload it. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you're having issues, remember you can message me and yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.